In this video I will show you a very fast easy way to take notes without typing on the go while you are using the Google Gboard, the keyboard, keyboard from Google. And if you don't have the Gboard, the Google keyboard, you will find it in the Play Store. Search for Gboard. This is the app, it's from Google, so make sure it's the right one. Gboard, the Google keyboard. This is the option. 4.5 rating, it's really popular, it's a popular keyboard and you can replace. I have another video about how to change the keyboard on your phone. But once you have the Gboard enabled, you take notes. You open any note, any text app, basically. It doesn't have to be, this is the Google Keep. That's the Google Keep app, but it doesn't have to be this one. You can use any note taking app. Most important is that you use the Google keyboard, the Gboard, and it has the option to do the microphone notes. And that means in settings, you go to voice typing, you enable voice typing, and also you can use faster voice typing to recognize your voice and type more precise and faster. So these are the settings you need to enable. And then you have this microphone here, a little bit in the corner. If it's not showing up there, it will show up here when you expand the options. And now I'm typing and the phone is actually recording my voice and through text actually. And for me, it's a little bit difficult to use sentences and paragraphs. Full stop new line. Here you got it wrong. Full stop new line. Make a new paragraph. Oh, you got it. Paragraph. Okay, so you have to tell it new paragraph. And now I can record the typing now on the screen while I say it. So the phone is typing from my voice and it's recording as it, it is recording it as text. And you see here, this is the indicator that is doing this and it shows English as the recognized language. Full stop, new paragraph. And now I even learned how to make a paragraph. Like this, it's a very easy way to type while you're walking. So basically, if you're walking on the street, you can talk to yourself like you're talking on the phone. You can actually talk to the phone like uh, you have a conversation, but th this way you will actually make a recording of your conversation like this. You could write an article like this and then really just because here there are no no full, no stops no lines no anything no paragraphs it's very very homogeneous full stop new line and it gets wrong sometimes the full stop new line it gets it wrong this once you type this you could put it through Gemini or ChatGPT and it will correct the text for you and you can have a actual text that is ready to use. For sure you will have to proofread it and change a little some final things. Full stop new line. This is a really quick way to type something and my hands are not moving, my fingers are not moving. Full stop new paragraph. So I got this part right. You can, I don't know if you can add links here. Probably these are some things that have to be done later. Full stop, new line. They got this part right. So you see how much I wrote here and actually I can interact with the screen, but it keeps going there. If, if I'm finished with this typing session, I typed so much, my hands are tired. Full stop, new line. Now to finish, I will press the speaker, this microphone button here. You see it, it's shaking when it's recording. It's really, it's a really useful tool. I use this a lot. When sending a message, you can actually use this to send a message. So when you reply to a message, instead of typing, if you're busy, instead of typing in a WhatsApp message or uh, any text message, you can use this to type out to <laughs> speak out the message and it will type it and then you press send before you have to check it to make sure the message is okay. I didn't bother to say any stops or lines or anything like this because 
I believe this is mostly useful for when you send a short message, a reply to a message where you're busy, you're in the car driving or something like this. And uh, if you don't want to send a voice message, because there is also in WhatsApp, you can send a voice message, but I really I prefer to send a text message. It's easier to read the voice message. Someone might not be able to read it, but the text message is very easy to read. So now I, I, I removed the option from listening there. So I could say I will be back in 10 minutes. We meet in the same place. So I just wrote this message by typing it with my voice. Thanks for watching. This you can do it in any other app. Whenever you have the keyboard, you will have this little speaker here. This speaker is really optional. It's not optional. This speaker, this microphone icon is actually very useful. Thanks for watching. Subscribe, like and share and I will see you next time. Okay.